Hello all. Uh, today we are going to create a game panel design like this in Photoshop. So let's start. So first of all, I'm going to create a new Photoshop file. I'm taking 1920 by 1080 size. Okay. So yeah, just go to the shape tool and using the rectangle to draw a rectangle like this draw it approximately okay that's fine okay and press ctrl t for transforming so and scale it like this okay uh, this is fine Can in stretch it like this also. Okay. Yeah. So we have created this bottom shape. Now we have to uh, make the side portion also. Okay. See here we have this uh, kind of uh, shape here. So now we have to do that. So again, create a shape like this. Okay. But then press A. So this will uh, go to the direct selection tool. So now we can edit the points here. Okay, now I'm going to move this point. So hold shift so that you can uh, move it in a straight line. Okay. I think. This is fine, but I want to. I think this is fine. Okay. So now I need to duplicate this uh, shape again. So press Ctrl J. So here we have a problem. So to get rid of this kind of uh, problems, first of all, I'm deleting that. Okay. So there is already a point is selected in this uh, shape. So we have to remove the selection first. So to do that, press A first, then hit Escape. So see the now. See now the selection is gone. Yeah. And. Press Ctrl J now. See now I've got the exact shape here. Okay, so I'm moving it like this. And I'm going to transform it. Right click, flip horizontal, and position it like this. So now let's see what we have created. Think this is fine. You can increase this uh, height a little bit. But yeah, this is fine. So we have created this uh, basic foundation for our panel. Okay, but all these are in different layers. So select all these three layers and merge it. So to merge press control e see now this is merged but we can see the overlapping points here so we don't want this overlapping so to get rid of all these overlapping press u so now we are in the shape tool okay so after that you can see some tools in the top so click here and select this last option so now we have only the outline yeah and you can check by pressing a and see if there are any extra points we can remove that also so i'm going to remove those points so to remove these points press uh, p 
so this is pen tool and click on the point like this so it will be removed I think that's it so we have the shape now yeah now we have to color like this so let's color so double click the layer so we got our layer style panel yeah now select gradient overlay and add our own colors I'm going to add my own color here so if you double click here you will get the color picker so you'll, you can choose your colors here okay, this is fine and I going to go this blue that's fine okay so and you can scale like this see. as well as you can drag the gradient here also directly over the image I think this is fine and hit ok uh, I'm going to use this panel in a dark background so so before doing other things let us change the background to dark color okay so create a new layer and fill it with black color yep yeah. let's lock that layer so that we won't select it accidentally as well as lock this uh, bottom panel position so to lock the position alone select this layer and uh, click here so the position is locked so that you cannot move now okay yep. so this is looking fine I think now we have to create a stroke here apply a stroke so before doing that let us create a new layer and we are going to brush some colors on this uh, shape so press B so now to increase and decrease the brush size use open parenthesis and close parenthesis okay so this is fine and with the opacity 40 I'm going to shade inside this shape layer to save sorry sorry to shade only inside this uh, shape control select this shape so control click this layer so that you'll get the selection exactly now we can shape so hold shift and drag like this see this is awesome and now in the side also we have to shape shape like this in the same way Can shape like this. I think to deselect the selection, press Ctrl D. The selection will go off. Now we have got the selection. Yeah. Sorry. Now we have got the design. This is looking awesome. So let's add the stroke so double click this rectangle layer go to stroke option so now this is in black color so you cannot see but I don't want solid color I want gradient so select gradient from this fill type option okay so I'm going to use only blue colors. Like blue and white, that's fine. Yep. I'm going to change this mode that style to reflect it. Okay. So but this is in reverse. What I want is I want white here and blue. 
on both sides so just check this reverse box see now we got what we want scale it if you want see the stroke is thicker right it should be a little bit thin the seat thin I think that's fine yeah and one more thing so to hide these uh, points and all to hide these edge lines press control hats so that you can see the output clearly without any disturbances okay to reveal it again press control h again okay yeah now this is fine let's compare let's let the I think we can reduce the stroke uh, size, make it 8, otherwise 9. That's fine. See? Yeah, this is looking okay. That's it for this tutorial so in the next tutorial we will see how to create these buttons and these level score and life elements yep thank you for watching thank you